Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here, and if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. Well, it's time to do an empties video because my bin runneth over and it ran over into more bins. I kind of created more bins. So yeah, it's, it's time. It's time to do a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the biggest part that takes up the most space is my laundry care products. And I'm going to start with my most favorite um, fabric softener for now, and it is the Cool Cotton. I love Cool Cotton, you guys. It's like my most favorite scent in the whole wide world. And yeah, I started using this last fall, fell in love with the scent. So now when I buy it, I try to buy like the multi-surplus <laughs> container. So that's that one. And then I finished up a couple smaller size bottles of Tide. One's in the Downy, and then the other one is, this is the Downy April Fresh, and then this is in the Tide, and it's, um, I don't know if the fabric softener is mixed in with it, or if that's just the scent. It says detergent. It doesn't say anything about fabric softener mixed in with it, so I think it's just the scent that they mixed in, but I love both of them. They do a great job with my clothes. And then I finished up some uh, my last bag of Gain pods. I guess I should turn it up like so you can see it. And these were pretty good. You just have to make sure that you put enough pods in your washing machine to do the cleaning that you need to get done. Now you don't want to overdo it, but yeah, with this one a little more is always better. So I quite like the smell of Gain too. All right, and then I finished up some OxyClean White Revive. This is actually just the powder, and I just I just throw this in, kind of like I do with my washer whips. I just I actually put this in the in the drum part. I don't put it up in the washer part. And as the water comes in, then it circulates. And I like to use it for my whites and my towels. So there's that one. And then I finished up. 102 load tide in the powder. So I got that one done. Boy, and I can tell you, this stuff is really starting to get expensive. I can't believe how expensive it's getting. I think this one was $18. And I'm like, holy buckets. That's a lot of money. But anyway, 102 loads. So yeah. Okay. Then I was able to finish up. I think that's all of the laundry. Now we'll go to the dishwasher. Um, these are like little pods that I used and you just put like one little pod in your dishwasher cubicle area and it does the job. I got these from Sam's Club. Okay, now we're going to work on this basket. We have some 3D white strips. I love these, you guys. These are great. Great, great, great. And I've tried other whitening strips, or I've tried whitening trays, and I like these the best. So these do the best job. All right, and then I got Barry some body wash. Axe Excite. Um, he wasn't so excited about this as I was. <laughs> Although, and it smelled good on him, too. I was like, honey, you smell so good, you know? He's like, oh, cool. Um... It's the Excite Clean and Fired Up. It's the scent notes are crisp coconut and black pepper. Yes, this smells so good. I love this, but he just wasn't too excited about this one. So I'm going to try another scent and see how he likes that one. All right, and then I went through some hand soaps. Let's see if we can get them all. Now watch, there'll be more. Let's see anymore. Let me check this other container. Any more hands up? I think that's all the hand soap. Okay. Well, we went through four. I went through from Bath and Body Works iced cinnamon rolls. I had this in the guest bathroom and yeah, we went through it quite quickly. We really enjoyed this one. It smells more like orange cinnamon rolls. I still have another bottle of this because I kind of went ham and bought two this past um, fall, fall of 2000, 
2020, <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, we enjoyed it. I After I use up the second one, though, I don't know if I'll be re a repurchase on this one. So, yeah, but it wasn't bad. And then we finished up a Frosted Cranberry in the Gentle Gel. I love the scent of Frosted Cranberry. In fact, I have a body cream of Frosted Cranberry in my purse because I like the way it smells. <sighs> yes, it smells so good. And I have it also in the body spray. Mm, it's good. It's good stuff. So, yeah, this is one that I wouldn't mind using year-round. It You can definitely pick up. It kind of has a woodsy cranberry note about it and I like that. I really like that. And it's frosted cranberry, red delicious apple, and blonde wood. So maybe it's the blonde wood. I'm not getting any of the delicious apple at all. But look at that bottle. Isn't that bottle gorgeous? I love the color of this bottle. It's just beautiful. All right and then we finished up a white tea and sage in the gentle gel. I did not like this scent, but we powered through it. Barry didn't like it either. Um, yeah, this is one that I bought on a blind. I had this one. I ordered this one and never smelled it. I just ordered it thinking, okay, let's go with it. It's fresh tea, lemon, and herbs. Um, you guys, it smells like the horse barn right after... One of the horse's peas, pretty much. <laughs> it does. It smells like horse pee to me. I do not like this one, and I will not repurchase this one. Um, I was going to take it back, but I got it on a sale, and by the time I got done with my coupon and everything, I think I only paid like $1.76 for this. I wasn't going to take it back. So we just powered through it, <laughs> but not a repurchase. No, 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 <laughs> no. Okay, then we finished up a Scentsy um, Apricot and Vanilla, one of my most favorite scents. I know they don't probably make this one anymore, and I'm sad about that, but I enjoyed this, so yeah. Now let's talk about some lotion. This one, I didn't finish. It is Scentsy Vanilla Bean Buttercream. You guys, I'm sorry, but this smelled stinky to me. I did not like the scent of it. I like it in the wax. I just don't like it in the lotion. Mm -mm. It smells rancid. It just... Mm, it, mm -mm. And it's one that I had when I was a consultant, so I mean... You know, I probably got a really good deal on it when I got it. So, n not a big deal. I mean, I I think I've only, I don't even know if I've made it to half. And I just said, I can't do this. I just can't. So, I don't, I've kind of heard this from other people stating that they don't like the scent of the hand lotion either. Or the lotion. So, what are your thoughts and feelings on vanilla bean buttercream? Let me know. I did finish a hand cream from Scentsy and Apricot and Vanilla. I do like this one a lot. I still have a body lotion. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love their lotions. Um, they don't leave your hands sticky or greasy. It just soaks right into your skin. It's good stuff. The scent notes on this one are Heirloom Peach, Apricot, and Vanilla Ice Cream. So, yeah. Then I finished up the shampoo in my Olaplex system. This was number four. Very, very good. It really saved my hair. My hair was going through some struggles and it helped it somewhat. I'm, I still have a lot of thinning hair going on from the medications that I'm taking, but it's, it's okay. There are worse things in life than thin hair. <laughs> then I finished up a bathroom cleaner in aloe water and cucumber. This one, I got that fancy, sexy, black-handled nozzle. <laughs> I think it's when they had a shortage or something, and I got this generic nozzle, but it's all good. I love aloe water and cucumber, though, and I love their bathroom cleaner. It's great. <coughs> I still have another one, and I think it's out in the camper. It accidentally tipped over, and I am so sad. I lost half my bottle of lemon for pina. Um, bathroom cleaner. <laughs> I was so sad. Um, 
So I still have a half a bottle of that. And I think I still have another bottle of another kind rolling around somewhere. So I'll see what I got, but I know I'll probably have to reorder more, but I love their bathroom cleaner. Okay, then I went through a bag of jumbo cotton balls. That's usually, that usually happens. And then, um, here is a tube of Avon mascara. It is the wash off waterproof. Did not like this one at all. I don't like this one. I won't, I will not purchase again. Um, my eyelashes were skimpy and I, I just didn't care for it. Then I went through, uh, on the rise NYX, um, mascara. Very good. It's the Volume Lift Mascara. Quite enjoyed this one. Yes, I would repurchase that. All right. Now we have one more bin. Of course, we have our tie. Um, we went through a Scentsy Sulk in Pineapple Coconut Vanilla. Actually, my husband likes this one very, very much. I have one right now hibiscus pineapple he doesn't like that one as well so probably in my next scentsy club order i will be getting another bag of this very good stuff i love it it makes your skin smell wonderful it even makes your bathroom smell wonderful when you're using it so yes 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 i love that one oh and then we have another bag of cotton balls these are the kroger's kroger brand And let's see. Oh, and I have another bag of cotton balls. These are the Top Care brand. This is from my local grocery store, like right here in town. Top Care is good. All right. Then I went through a Swab 24-Hour Protection Fresh deodorant. I don't know where the lid went, but I finished up one of those. And then I finished up a Gum Perorex Alcohol-Free mouthwash. I got this one for my dentist. It works very, very well. When I had my dental implants removed, it was my saving grace. So yeah, and I still like to use it. I have a lot of bridge work and stuff. And so when I'm done flossing and stuff, I'll still gargle and rinse with this. And yeah, it just kind of gives me that security that it's helping to get rid of any bacteria that I, I was unable to, you know, work its way out. So then I went through um, some vitamin D3 gummies. Yes, I think I picked these up at Walmart. And I got Barry started in on these too. And then Barry went through a little bottle of Pantene. Those of you who don't know, my husband likes the little tiny bottles of products. So if you see little products... It's because he likes to go to the little dollar bin, or they're no longer the dollar bin, by the way. They're more expensive. Um, but he likes to buy these smaller bottles of shampoo and stuff. And this is, yeah, that's just my husband. And so we have some more little products. We know that these are berries. Head and Shoulders Classic Clean. And then we have a Crest Clean Mint. I like the Crest Clean Mint a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. In fact, I want to get a big, a bigger bottle of this next time I go into Walmart or Kroger or wherever. Okay, this is a con tube of concealer. I, I think it's Revlon, but I rubbed all of the stuff is off. It got worn off for me using it. I had to stop using it because it's about three years old. I started getting kind of a off smell. So I just said I'm done. <laughs> yeah. And I have a very old tube of lipstick, but it from Avon, it didn't, it never did get a bad smell, but it's in a kind of a very dark red color. I couldn't even tell you what color that is. It's kind of a, kind of a wine red almost. Um, but yeah, that's from Avon. I think it's color last. Don't quote me. Oh, I have a dryer disc in shimmer from Scentsy. 
And then, last but not least, we have a little bottle of Oil of Olay, and it is the Anti-Wrinkle Age Defying Lotion with the SPF 15. I know I should be using, it's got laundry soap on it. I know I should be using probably a stronger SPF, um, and I do use sunscreen when I, I try to use sunscreen when I'm outside doing yard work or, you know, playing with the animals and stuff. So that is my empties basket for household items and body care and all that good stuff. Hey, if there's anything here that you want to know more about, just let me know in the comments down below. Hey, you guys have a great day and I will be talking to you soon. Bye.